Hi everybody, I'm Priscilla and this is the Mikey Security Report, your weekly roundup of the latest cybersecurity and hacking news. So what do we have for you this week? So apparently the TSA is starting to scan your papers at the airport. I don't mean your passport, I mean your papers. Paper, like A4, white paper. Papers. What? A passenger going through security at Kansas City International Airport was actually stopped by an agent and he was asked to remove all paper products from his bag and that included his books, his notebooks, and even the post-it notes he had. That's crazy. He had to put them in a different bin and actually put them through the, 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 the thing. What is it called? The scanner thing. He had to put it through the scanner thing to get it searched. I mean, really? Yeah, just give me a second, I'll put it in the scanner. Just one second. When he asked why he was being forced to remove all the paper products, the agent said that this is a pilot program that was being tested at the airport to be adopted nationwide. One person even said that a security guy dug out two blocks of post-it notes. I mean, come on, what's next? Your smartphone is listening to you. Researchers have found that some apps actually listen to inaudible ultrasonic sounds. They know everything about you, your surrounding, what you love, what you hate, and all without your consent. What happens is that your phone actually picks up what we call an ultrasonic audio beacon and feeds that data to a third party. Security researchers have actually identified more than 234 apps on the Play Store that ask permission to use your microphone to incorporate that ultrasonic beacon. Could I have a cheeseburger and fries, please? <laughs> now, the best way to actually reduce your smartphone listening to you is to simply restrict unnecessary permissions you have granted to certain apps. So let's take an example, Skype. Skype needs your microphone in order to actually function. So Skype, you can allow access to your microphone, but beauty apps or an app like Amazon, no way. So how do you edit your permissions? On Android, go to Settings, App, App Privileges, and then Edit the Privileges. For iOS users, go to Settings, Privacy, Microphone to see which apps have requested access to it, and there you can either toggle yes or no and allow access. And for Windows users, buy a new phone. <laughs> this is a warning. Do not click that Google Docs link that you just received in your email, even if it's from somebody you know. Because if you click that link, you will be redirected to a page that says Google Docs would like to read, send, and delete your emails and access your contacts. No thank you, Google Docs. Say no thank you, do not accept it. Why? If you allow it, hackers will immediately have permission to actually control your Gmail account. How? The Google Docs that is requesting access to your account is actually fake and controlled by a hacker. You should know that the real Google Docs invitation link will not ask you access to your Gmail account. Google said that the phishing campaign only affected 0.1% of people on Gmail. It's a lot of people, Google. One million people handed over access to their accounts to a hacker. Yeah, you don't want that. All right, you guys, that was it for this week's episode of the Mikey Security Report. For any comments or suggestions, please do so below and don't forget to subscribe. See you soon.